Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 95 1. Come, let us sing the joy of the Lord. Let us shout out loud to the rock of our salvation. Again, guys, just last week was pretty rough. This weekend, um, kind of locked myself into the craft mode and the cleaning mode because I hadn't done either. <laughs> so, yeah. So, RJ, let's just get right into it, okay? I've got an off the hook. There it is. Okay, I have one off the hook. Um, I don't have the ends woven in, but I have this lovely, um, oops, I have it inside out. Great. All right, so I have this lovely over sweater and it comes together quite nicely it's got a nice um band here and of course then it buttons and it's really cute i like it so um this one's off the hook i have one end to weave in and that is right there so yeah i will get that done but it's just been a long week, and this week I have lots of littles, as I say. Little things I get done. Um, all right, to bring you up to speed on this one, I have gotten further. I've been working on it. Um, but it's just slow going because of how tiny the yarn is, and so, yeah. It's going to be one of those loose little things, I hope. But we'll see. We'll see how much. Um, I've moved on to the second ball. Now, I will say, this is a mess. So when I went to pull the center out, I found two centers. So I tied them together, and I'm working from the outside in. Uh, this yarn... And I went back and decided I wasn't fighting with all of it. I found all the centers and wrapped around because I don't like this. I, I don't like, uh, this is just not my favorite yarn. Let me see if I can get this. Um, this is that, oh, uh, Babe Jazz. I, I will say this is not my favorite yarn. Um, just because of how much issues I have just getting to use it. So, anyway, I have four balls. I'm going to do two on the back, and then I'll make sides for the one for each side in the front. And I don't know what pattern it'll have. Um, I don't know how I'll make it, but anyway. So, there was that. Then I decided, and I just... When I went out this weekend, I, I made one run out. Other than that, I was locked in this house. I cleaned, I cooked, I sewed, I crocheted. I did not invest in the living world. So I made one run to Hobby Lobby and Deeth Groceries, and that was it. And I picked up my eggs while I was at Walmart. And this is the stuff in here to make chickens. So I'm going to make chickens um if you remember every year i do this and normally have it for work but i'm gonna try i've got to count how many i need i just bought a dozen eggs so i may have to go back and buy another dozen um especially if i decide to there are three little kids that come to the bank and i call them littles um they come to the bank valentine's day they gave me a uh, chocolate cake i actually came to see somebody else but being the front desk, I greet them. I have to call the other person, blah, blah, blah. So first they came at Halloween. I gave them candy. And then say, the next time they came was Valentine's Day, and they brought chocolate cake. And they brought me some, too. So I made treasure bags for them in the sewing. And you'll see those in the sewing part. And then I'm going to make them also... I probably will put some kind of candy in the egg 
and then make them three little chicks and to put in their treasure bags. And um, I've got some other things that for Easter little notebooks and stuff, but I put them together for St. Patrick's Day in case they come. If they don't come, I know they will come at Easter um, just because that's the way they are. So, um, yeah, I've got the little bags done. I've got those. I'm also going to make them. I made one and put it in my plant at work, and only one person has noticed. So, yeah, it's it's in there. It's cute. I like it. It's me. So, yeah, I will be making everybody else one too. Uh, I don't know if I put candy in each of them for the adults. It's just a decoration. So I probably won't, just because I'm me. All right. Then I got, I, I was working on that, finished that, right? Got that. All right, last thing that I was working on is I got my new kit. <laughs> yeah. So, I hate it. It's going to be up front. It is a kit to make this. Smitten Kitten Pillow. If you know me, dogs. I don't mind cats, and I've had some really cool cats, and I used to work at the shelter, but I don't decorate my house in cats. And I do have just a few things that are dog. So I'm just saying. Hot pink, cat, hello, not me. So I didn't want to make it and waste it. And I actually had no one that I could think of to give this to. Um, there's no teens, no children. Um, and if I do have children, they have brothers and sisters. And so I can't just do one. So I'm going to stow this away for another time. Not going to deal with that. But it has this pink fuzzy yarn in it. You can see. And I have made... Uh, headbands out of thinner ones with brown and just this together um or ear warmers that's what I mean. and so I thought what can I do with this because the kit came with three of these and it's just red heart Yuki uh, I do know it's 132 yards in each ball this is hot pink So, um, not very straight up. So, yeah, and it is red hard. It's five grams or five ounces, 141 grams, 132 yards. Um, I know there's a glare. With the time change, it's kind of rough to get things to do. It's just Came with a little ball of black, which is not as fuzzy as the other. But uh, anyway, so I got to thinking, what can I do? You know, that I haven't. And I thought, oh, I can make headbands and those ear warmers. I've made enough of those, you know, and hats and mittens and scarves. I've done those like from here up a ton. And then I got to thinking and looking through my patterns, and I thought, what can I do that I haven't done a lot of? Automatically, I thought slippers. I have not made slippers in a long time. Well, then I couldn't find my little pattern. And I used to have one written out. So I had to recreate it. <laughs> and, yeah, it is what it is. So, um, I have slippers made out of this fuzzy pink and what I'm going to do is uh, Shelby and her granny both wear about the same size and Macy's mom about wears the same size so I'm going to make Shelby and her granny matching little fuzzy slippers and Macy and her mom matching fuzzy little slippers I don't know if I'll give them for Easter or Mother's Day but um, yeah so, it just depends on what I get done. I actually told RJ, I said, it might be Christmas. I don't know. 
So I used to make these little slippers and they start with a magic loop and you go to 12, 18, out to 24 and 24 is normally a pretty good size to go around an adult foot. Um, and then, so the first three rows you increases, then you've got six rows to cover your toes and six rows to cover your heel. And then literally you only do, and I do 16, do, 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 and then snip it, or sew it together. Um, now I do have all my ends to weave in, but after that, you turn it right side out and you have a doozy of a little slip. Um, now I did uh, mess up on one. I say that. So I just have to figure out how many rows I actually did. One, two. See, this is the problem. Is I say six, and I think on one of these I did seven. So I've got to go back and make the other one match. If that makes sense. Yeah, see, I think. I think there's a six and there's a seven. So I'm going to have to count and see if I've made Macy. So the four people that I'm making them for, three of them all wear size eight. So three of them need to match, which is the same as my foot. And then one of them needs to be a little smaller for Macy. So taking off that row, this will probably be her. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. But see, then you hold them like this and they match. I don't know. I'm literally going to have to count rows and see that each pair matches. So a hundred, I'm babbling, 132 yards will make three flippers and still leave you a little ball left right here. So I know I can get three more out of this ball and I've already started one. Um, so I'll be able to get three out of this. That will give me three pair. And then I'll have one left that one skein left that I can make another pair and that'll give me the four pairs. Um, after that, I don't know. I might make me a pair. Who knows? Don't have a clue. So I think that is all in crochet. Um, in the sewing corner, if you can follow that, there's lots of littles and stuff in it too, just puttered. Um, Friday night, RJ, let's back up a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Friday, RJ went to the dentist. And then Friday night, he came down here because he literally had been living on no protein, no mac and cheese. He's been living on mac and cheese and um, mashed potatoes and gravy. And so he uh, oh, he came down here and got some food. Uh, I made breakfast. Um, and by breakfast, I mean I made pancakes, eggs. I made some toast and put uh, butter on it. Like when you first... When it first comes out of the uh, toaster, you know how you put butter on it and it gets really soggy? So then I cut off the crust and he looked at me and he's like, what am I, three? I said, the crust is still hard, you can't eat it. And he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and so he had a, a lot of carbs um, and cakes and syrup. Um... But his face was numb. They went in and cut out the tooth that had broke off to the gum. They removed the bottom half of it. And uh, they had, had him on an antibiotic and stuff. And it was really sore because it was an exposed nerve. So they went in Friday, cut it out, and uh, got that out. And then, of course, his face was all numb from them doing that, and he couldn't hardly eat. Um, unfortunately, he had that done at 1 o'clock. So 
He came down here after I got off work. Um, probably 6.30. No, I beat him here. It's probably 7. Probably 7. But anyway, so he came down. Him and roommate messed around and stuff. And, uh, just played out in the shop, talked about the trailers, just blowing and going and did nothing specific. Um, then Saturday, I still, I just wanted to stay and craft. I just, I wanted to crochet. I wanted to sew. I didn't want to address the world. So I, Saturday, I made the, the run to Hobby Lobby. And if you're following the sewing, you'll know what I bought at Hobby Lobby. And then I got the groceries. Um, then I came home and pretty much just locked myself in and sewed and crocheted. I sewed, figured out patterns, crocheted. Um, the slipper pattern, I wrote it up just so I'd have some kind of reference. Um, just got the eggs and did that. Just lots of little things. I wanted to be crafty. I, I just wanted to have fun and not engage the world. By Sunday, I realized that I hadn't done any of my chores. And this house looked can't say horrible, but the sink was piled with dishes. Hadn't done them since, well, we ate out Thursday. RJ was here Friday. So Wednesday, hadn't done any of that. There was four bags of trash because I'd pull it out of the trash can and just tie it off and set it aside. So there was a pile of trash. Um, it was all sacked and everything. I just hadn't taken it out to the trash can. Laundry, there was probably four or five loads, um, just hadn't done it, uh, hadn't vacuumed, hadn't cleaned, hadn't dusted, hadn't, hadn't done my weekly regime around here, and it definitely showed, and I decided that it was time, so Sunday, um, I crafted all day Saturday and sewed and crocheted, so Sunday, I decided that's it. Oh, I was going to get my head back on straight, get the house cleaned up, and that's exactly what I did. So I started laundry, went through the house systematically, clean, 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 clean. Bed, dishes, floors, trash, and just, you know. So... Got all that done and still had time to craft and I went back into the sewing room and finished up a few things. Got to, uh, I had the new piece that I'm working on or set that I'm working on. I had all the patterns. I had the stuff cut out. So I went back into the sewing room and, and started sewing on it a little bit. So, yeah. But today is Monday. I'm going to get myself ready for work. You heard that alarm. That means it's 7.30 and not 7.36 and I got to get ready for work. So, um, The final thing that I'm ignoring, y'all know I had a job interview. I got to my job interview only to be told we'd like to get to know you a little bit better, but unfortunately there is no job available at this time. So, yeah, turns out whatever avenue they were going to go down and what all they were going to do, um, isn't happening. So I got pumped up for nothing, which kind of discourages me, but it's okay. It's okay. What will be, will be, I'm leaning on the rock of Christ and I am, you know, he's my cornerstone. I got this. Um, He's not saying no. He might be just be saying not yet. So we will see what is coming down the pipe because when one door closes, another one opens. Um, if God takes something out of your hands, he is making way for something better. So we will see. Um, I have faith. 
just frustrated. So anyway, I did not people this weekend. I did not world this weekend. I wasn't out in the world. I lived right here and I crafted and you guys are, will be up to date. Um, probably tomorrow. So, all right. Uh, we still don't have, it is after the first of March. We still don't have a, win, a claim on our prize. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Give me your ideas because if I should draw again, fine. If not, fine. I mean, is what it is. So, um, yeah. Give me your thoughts on it. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.